Alright, this is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Uh, this will name him uh, Ben. The, uh, I think the official name in the guide was uh, Benjamin, so I'll go with that. Uh, I am planning to probably go through the whole game. Uh, I'm just to talk about it uh, as I go through. I had this game as a kid, uh, I've played it a ton, I've played it, you know, every few years I'll play through it again, so uh, I should hopefully have, uh, you know, a bit to say about it anyways. One thing to start off with that I really like about uh, it compared to a lot of other games, especially JRPGs, is it starts quick, you know. Uh, you know, I just started and then I'm you know, going through here, and then in a few seconds we're going to get the first battle, so... And there we go. We're already into the uh, actual uh, gameplay. It kind of sucks that this guy can actually kill you if you uh, miss a few times, or... Uh... Yeah, I don't know if he can get a critical, but yeah, if you uh, if you miss a couple times, he can kill you, so... Uh, at least you just started right there again, it's not a big deal. I'm playing the English version, but uh, this was actually the first game that I played through completely when I uh, started studying Japanese. Uh, it, I think it ended up taking me something like 40 hours to beat the whole game. Uh, you know, the game normally should only take, uh, I think, 8 to 10 hours or so. So yeah, that was, uh, but you know, I talked to every single character and, you know, had to look up a ton of words. Uh, one thing I did notice, uh, you know, at the beginning there, he says that, uh, his town, uh, he says my town, uh, it's gone or whatever. Uh, if I recall correctly, in the Japanese one, I don't think he specifically mentions that it's his town. Uh, I don't remember if he mentions that later, but uh, I know that's kind of a thing. People say like, oh, he's, you know, he doesn't seem to really care that much, but uh, I'm not 100% sure it was his town. Yeah, although, you know, it's probably best not to think too deeply about it. I don't think they really, uh, you know, cared too much about that kind of stuff, so... Anyway, first town here, going behind here, get the cure spell. after all, so... Uh, you can see I'm not even bothering to uh, heal up in there. Uh, Kaylee will do that for me anyways.
first kind of uh, real battle, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna try and go through this fairly quickly, so I'm not gonna get too many sideways. Unless there's a, uh, you know, a special item, a spell or whatever. I'm not gonna go over. I think there's more uh, cure potions or whatever left there, but uh, I don't need them and they're not uh, special. So. Forgotten, I had uh, taken Kaylee off of uh, manual there, so she wasn't uh, healing as much. Uh, in case you haven't played this game, uh, the ma the auto control kind of cheats a bit. Uh, you know, when you're doing manual control, you have to just decide what you want them to do at the start of the turn. So the enemy may attack and, uh, you know, kill your character, uh, who you were planning to heal, and then the heal will do nothing. Whereas if you had used the uh, life spell to revive them, uh, then, it, you know, it, it would revive them then, but uh, the auto control will decide what to do at the time that their turn comes up. guys ever uh, killed me before but I think I do usually uh, grind a level or two before getting them so guess that explains it. Uh, might as well just go back here and heal up for a second. Another thing I guess you'll hear, uh, you know, if you've never played this game or heard about it before, the music is really good. Uh, you know, I like all the, th the themes, you know, the town theme, this one, you know, all of them I think are pretty good, but uh, you know, the battle theme is what uh, really sticks out the most, I think. Well, all the battle th themes, there's uh, I think three or four of them. Uh, this is another one of my favorite, the Shrine of Light theme. Alright, 
second ally, uh, Tristan. Uh, I am going to, I think, clear the battlefields. Uh, but I may, uh, after, I'll do, after I do the uh, first battle, I'll probably just fast forward through them. Kind of boring to watch all of them. Yeah. So the battlefields, you just uh, you do ten battles in each of them, and then the battlefield will break, and you get a uh, usually an item or you know a bunch of exp or gold or whatever. And I've got Tristam on auto there, so he will heal and revive and stuff. So there's the uh, armor we got. The charm, plus one defense. back, heal up again, and then uh, take out the other battlefield. I don't think the other one uh, has anything special in it. I think it was just uh, more EXP or whatever, but uh, that'll help anyways. Also, as you can see, we got the uh, cure potions there again. All of the normal chests in the game uh, respawn every time you enter the room again, so you can just stock them up pretty quickly. I'm just going to fast forward through the battle again. Yeah, so I just got a bunch of uh, EXP there. Uh, and your party members don't gain levels, uh, only you do. They usually uh, start a bit ahead of you, and then by the time they leave, uh, you're around where they are. Although usually they have uh, pretty good spells and uh, you know, weapons and stuff, so they're still quite strong. Pretty much every party member you meet has the life spell, which uh, it doesn't just revive you to full health when you're dead, you can actually cast it anytime to just fully heal. So it's uh, pretty strong. I'll just show off the menu here for a bit. You can change the uh, life display. I like the bars actually. They look, you know, they look nice, and, you know, that just looks kind of boring. Uh, with the auto manual control in here again. Uh, you can normally change it with, uh, I think it's X or Y does it. Uh, message speed, window color. Status window, weapons, armor, spells. Here's the, uh, I guess, 12 spells you get in the end. Uh, so we're into the Bone Dungeon. This is kind of the first of the four main dungeons. There's an item up there. Uh, be heading back here shortly. Probably just in a few minutes, we'll get the uh, item we need to get in there. Oh, okay, that was uh, sooner than I remembered. I thought there was a few fights in the way, at least, but uh, anyways. Now that we have the bombs, let's go back up here.
steel shield. More armor. Bombs hit uh, all the enemies, and they uh, spread out their power. So if they they hit three enemies, they do much less damage than if they hit one. But uh, yeah, they just hit one. I think they're usually the strongest weapon. Although they they are technically limited, uh, you get so many that uh, you're pretty much always going to be full. So it doesn't really matter. Same with, you can see uh, Tristan's ninja stars there. Speaking of these ninja stars, I remember when I was like really little, I don't know, I got this game when I was like five, I think. Uh, I don't know, it was like probably my, I think it was my first Super Nintendo game. I got it for Christmas, uh, and I believe I opened it before I opened my Super Nintendo. Uh, but yeah, when I was uh, very little, uh, you know, I, I was probably like six or whatever at the time. Uh, you know, I was drawing characters from this game and stuff, and so I was drawing, uh, you know, Tristan and uh, his ninja stars, and I was drawing, like, his uh, ninja stars, like, all over the paper. Uh, but you can see how, uh, what they would look like uh, drawn by a, you know, a five-year-old. They kind of end up looking like swastikas. So I remember, like, my dad being like, oh, well, you shouldn't... Don't draw that, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember which is the, uh, the way that they gotta go to be like the swastika versus like the Machi symbol. I think it is. Oh yeah, I said I wasn't gonna get all the extra items, but, uh... Yeah, the upcoming boss, I think he does actually, uh, I have died to him fairly frequently, so uh, this is probably this is, uh, saving time in the long run. Yeah, so I do really like the fast pace that the game moves along. You know, in a lot of other JRPGs or you know, modern AAA games, right now we'd still be like watching the opening cutscene. You know, or, or just running around talking to NPCs and doing tutorials and stuff. I really like that this game is just, you know, you start and you go. Battles are pretty quick too. The, uh, you know, the menus are snappy, you just you go through them, you know, you hit a button, it's the next item. I find there's a lot of games, you know, like the Pokemon games are really bad for this. Uh, you know, doing something as simple as, like, leveling up a Pokemon with a rare candy, and then, you know, using a Moonstone on it, and then itching a PM. Like, that should take, I think, like, as long as it took me to describe that, you should just be able to be like, you know, boom, 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 clicking through all the items, doing all that. But it ends up taking like 10 minutes just to do that, because, you know, every menu has to slow fade in, fade out, and, you know, you've got to, you know, the cursor moves around slowly, and there's all this, oh, are you sure you want to do that, and, you know, oh, it, da 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 da, it did whatever. But we're in this, you know, you just 
hit the thing you want to do and go right through it. Status effects that you see there, they tend to come up uh, less often as we get through the game because uh, uh, you may not have noticed on the armor page, but there are uh, symbols there for uh, immunity to status effects, and it's like just a hard immunity. So once you get uh, you know, some piece of armor that makes you immune to confusion, then you just don't get confused anymore for the rest of the game. First uh, attack spell. Mm. Right. There's the first boss. I'm gonna fight him in just a second. Save here just in case. And then just uh, break the recording for a second. 